السلام عليكم The journal club of this week is triggered by my trauma case that I presented two weeks ago where I had tooth number 10 responding normally to sensibility test but included in the lesion originating from tooth number 9. I looked for this article mentioned in the discussion and went through it. It is an article done by Adham Azim, Khaled Murdad and Ovi Peters and published in International Endodontic Journal in 2022. They sent out surveys to endodontists in North America and clinicians worldwide through an electronic database. The surveys comprise endodontic cases, 12 of which were conventional and classical cases, and 10 controversial cases. The participants were divided into two groups based on the region of endodontic training and practice to specialize North American or international practitioners and their results were statistically compared using chi-square test. They concluded that there is a lack of consensus amongst uh, clinicians on the appropriate terminology to use in certain, perhaps controversial, clinical scenarios, which requires further discussion. They also proposed suggestion of added new terminology to serve as diagnosis of the controversial cases. This case from their survey resembles my case, and we can note in the bar graph the lack of consensus between clinicians of periapical diagnosis. Their suggested diagnosis is an added in inconclusive category, both in pulpal and periapical diagnosis. An incl inconclusive pulpal condition defined as a clinic clinical diagnostic category in which the pulp is symptom free and is not responding normally to pulp uh, testing without the presence of any subjective pain or objective caries or fractures cause for pulp disease and with no signs of periapical disease, the condition suggests further monitoring without intervention. While an inconclusive periradicular condition defined as a clinical diagnostic category in which the apical or periradicular area present with clinical or radiographic signs of inflammation that resembles endodontic disease in a symptom-free pulp that is normally responsive to pulp testing, like lesion of non-odontogenic uh, non origin or expanding lesion from the adjacent teeth, which is the, sa the same status of my case here. They also added more descriptive conditions to the pre-established uh, Amer uh, American Association of Endodontist uh, Diagnosis to help distinguish between pulpal and periradicular status in a more meticulous manner and hopefully eliminate or reduce the lack of consensus.